going back so here now in asap methodology we'll discuss about the third phase third phase is realization phase okay so what happened in realization phase guys first of all look at here in second phase what happened guys in second phase we have uh, so in second phase we had a discussion with the client okay we prepared so we gathered the requirement requirement in the sense like we just check the whatever the existing activities are there which uh, processes are there in the finance team what kind of activities uh, are being uh, you know performed by finance team and also those things are already documented and that document is called blueprint document now what is happening guys so whatever the processes are there this must be configured here into sap okay so now what happened guys configurations look at here the purpose the purpose of this phase is to implement all business process requirements based on business blueprint document so the first activity is configuration right configurations means like multiple i'll tell you guys multiple activities will be there okay now look at here let me so now, so let's suppose multiple say for example we are having like payable account receivable right then multiple other configurations are there we are having done it we are having app automatic payment program okay what is this app what is this dunning those things are going to be explained in detail in upcoming session guys okay don't worry so multiple multiple configurations will uh, multiple processes are going to be mapped here okay will be mapped here into sap now so one by one one by one so we have to do lots of configurations several configurations isn't it so now we are having terms of payment right? then we are having like let's suppose down payment related configurations down payment for vendor down payment for customers isn't it likewise integrations are there okay so i'll tell you guys for these all activity right several configuration steps are there okay so these things are going to be configured not only these even multiple other activities are also there those things will be explained one by one in upcoming sessions so configurations first of all what we have to do we have to do the configurations but after configurations if i have configured automatic payment program then what will happen guys how you will come to know that this app is working fine or not right so for that we have to perform testing right so when i have configured this app after that what is happening guys immediately after we have to perform this testing if i have to configure this dunning immediately after i have to perform testing right if i have done account payable basic setting then what will happen testing will be done okay why because if you test then only you will come to know that yes whatever configurations are done like whatever configurations are done is fine or not isn't it so testing of course after every configurations we have to perform testing 
this account payable basic setting is configured after that testing account receivable basic setting is configured after that we have to test it then only we have to proceed further right so one by one what is happening guys configurations are supposed to be done and one by one even testings also will be done right so that is why here look at here configurations and testing okay now this testing is having two kind of testings are there guys one is called ut and second one is called it what is this ut and it i'll tell you guys ut stand for unit test and it stand for integration test integration test what is this unit test and integration test i'll tell you it's pretty simple this let's suppose i have configured dunning and then we have to test it okay now we have configured app we have to test it if we have configured this terms of payment we have to test it we have configured this down payment customer down payment we have to test it vendor down payment we have to test it so look at here this is one unit this is another unit this is another unit right unit by unit configurations right unit by unit we have to do the configurations and unit by unit testing is also happening so this is called unit unit test one by one this dunning i have configured now we have to test it app i have configured i have to test it terms of payment i have configured i have to test it so one by one unit by unit configurations unit by unit testing is happening okay so these all tests are called unit test now integration test integration test means say for example likewise so these all are certain activity likewise now we are having a process called p2p process okay most of you might be knowing what is this p2p process guys p2p stand for procure to pay okay as an individual we all know if you have to purchase something if i have to purchase something simply we have to visit the market right check the product just discuss about the price and purchase it make the payment immediately this is what is happening this is called individual purchase now when you talk about b2b purchase or b2b sales b2b means i'm talking about business to business right so when you talk about b2b purchase or b2b sales okay now so business to business purchase means what happened guys look at here this one they follow this p2p process what is this p2p process guys so p2p process means certain activity say for example if tata motor has to procure certain things let's suppose tata motor has to procure certain raw material then what happened tata motor has to place an order right with the supplier okay so how the orders are going to be placed tata motor will create a purchase order and this purchase order will be sent to the supplier supplier is also called vendor the first activity means tata motor will set up will create or generate a purchase order and this purchase order will be sent to supplier so called vendors in next step what will happen since the supplier or vendor has received a purchase order in the sense order from tata motor so based on that purchase order or based on this order what is happening supply is supplier is going to supply supplier in the sense vendor so vendor will supply the raw material so this is called this activity is called 
So for Tata Motor, what is happening, guys? Tata Motor is going to receive that goods, right? So it is called goods receipt. This activity is called goods receipt. CR. Okay. So first activity, Tata Motor. Tata Motor sent an order, that is purchase order, to supplier, and based on this purchase order, supplier has delivered the goods so this is also this this goods receipt will be posted here it is going to be recorded because certain stock is received by tata motor so this is going to be recorded okay now so this is called goods receipt and then once the goods once the goods is supplied supplied by supplier then what is the next step guys once the goods are delivered then supplier is going to send invoice that is going to be recorded in the form of invoice receipt okay and then in fourth step what is happening final payment will be done by Tata Motor okay so these are the certain activity okay so here P2P if you talk about P2P process one single process but how many activities are there guys first of all a PO must be sent to the vendor. So what will happen? This PO must be generated from SAP. Right? This PO must be generated. Nowadays what is happening? People will not make any purchase order like they are not going to write down the things uh, you know on pen and paper uh, you know on paper that with the help of pen and pen or anything else so this PO means it must be generated from SAP itself right so for that certain configuration supposed to be done right so who will perform this configurations it will be done by MM consultant then goods received based on the purchase order vendor will deliver the goods so this is supposed to be recorded here onto SAP into in the form of goods received I'll tell you guys this P2P process. This is called FIMM integration. There'll be a separate session on this. There'll be a separate session on this in upcoming. Uh, what do you say this one? There'll be a separate session on this. So don't worry. I'm just explaining in a very like uh, it's a kind of brief explanations only, right? Now, so. First of all, PO must be generated with the help of SAP. So who will perform this configurations? It will be done by MM consultant. Based on PO, vendor is going to deliver the goods and that will be recorded here into SAP in the form of goods receipt. So this is also going to be configured and it will be tested by MM consultant, right? It will be configured by MM consultant, not tested. Okay, then what is happening? Then vendor is going to deliver the invoice and this invoice related so here it will be done by fi consultant fi consultant and then what will happen guys payment related the configurations will be done by fi consultant so look at here one single one single process it is having four steps two steps will be configured by fi and two steps Sorry, two steps will be MM and remaining two steps will be done by FI. Right? So look at here. Now, in this single process, but there will be involvement of two consultant. Right? So it is having integration. Right? We are having dependency on MM consultant and vice versa. MM consultant is having dependencies right so this is called so now here one process but it will be tested by both first of all mm consultant will create a po then mm consultant will post goods receipt fi consultant will post invoice and then payment and then we can say that now we have successfully tested p2p process so this is called integration testing okay integration test this is unit test account payable 
right is configured and tested account receivable configuration and tested right dunning configuration and tested so it is configured this this configurations are done by us testing also done by us only here p2p one activity one process but here what is happening guys this configuration and testing will be done configurations will be done like these two configurations will be done by mm and these two configurations will be done by fi and then all together we have to test this p2p right so it is having integrations right these two modules are interlinked interconnected so this testing is called integration testing okay in detail again integration testing or integration test so there will be this p2p process and on this this p2p process in detail it is going to be covered in upcoming session there will be a topic called fi mm integrations okay there again practically we can test this practically we are going to test this okay so in a simple form look at here in third phase what happened guys look at here in third phase okay in third phase we have to do configurations right and once the configurations let's suppose once we have configured something how we will come to know or how you will come to know that this configuration is perfect or not so for that we have to perform testing also right so this configuration and testing will be done here in third phase and once the configuration and testing is completed it means we have done with the with the third phase in the sense third phase is completed 